This doesn't look like much, looks like a field of weeds and dead foliage from last year. Well, this is where our artichoke, Jerusalem artichoke or sunchoke bed was and always will be because Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes are a perennial that continually come back year after year, even if you want them not to. That's why it's recommended if you do choose to grow them that you grow them in a container, which we have done so, or in a raised bed so you can contain the spreading of the tuber. Now, it is an edible tuber, good for diabetics, low on starch, you don't have to cook it to eat it. So, based on your philosophy of food that keeps growing over and over again, like Jerusalem artichokes or sunchokes, may not be a bad thing. But we're in the spring of the, of the year here. Normally you harvest these in the later fall when the, the tops die back. We still can harvest them now. You can harvest them all through winter if you're in an area where it doesn't get frozen like it does here in southeast Wisconsin. Now there's ways that you can get around that. But we're just going to dig up some artichokes here. Um, we've never, this, is, this bed here is approximately 10 foot wide by about 10 foot, so about 100 square feet. And we've never actually gone through the whole bed during a harvest season. There's still artichokes here that have been growing that we've never touched for three going on four years now. So we're just gonna pick a spot here and just take our fork and see what we get. Now we're probably gonna stab some here. All right, what do we have? There we go. Took a chunk out of that one. Oh, here, here's some. Now what you're seeing here is you got a couple of things going on here. You've got the growth tip for this year's plant. You've got roots that have come off of it. These grow very similar to a potato where the sprout will, um, there, there will be energy that will be coming from the tuber and then once the, that energy, once it starts photosynthesizing from the sun, it'll be de detached from the tuber and this tuber will uh, rot in the soil and then all these root fibers will create more tubers. You can see here where it has that is where it was initially attached to the plant last year. You can just cut that portion off, snap the growth tip off, and it's still good. This one here is smaller. It doesn't have anything yet. I'm gonna dig around here and find a few more and show you a couple more examples of what you're looking for in the spring, even uh, that you can harvest and still eat before these things start taking off and growing. So I've got dug a couple up here. They're on the smaller side, which we noticed that last year. Now this is also another opportunity if you're going to give tubers away or plant them in another area such as a food forest or around a perimeter of whatever, fill in the blank. Now is the time to do this, do the planting of it because they got the growth tips and you just bury this down about six inches and, and it'll be fine. All of them do have this uh, uh, place where it was attached to the plant last year. Uh, snip that one with the fork. But they're small, you can just do like a normal potato, you can um, pop the, eye, the growth tip off of it, chop these up, eat them raw, saute them, whatever you uh, choose to do. You can also dehydrate them if you want to figure out some unique way of using the dried Jerusalem artichoke powder. That's something and want you to dry them that way. So, and also another way to use, utilize them is a fermentation. We found the best way that we found is eat them raw as well as put them in a crock pot or a slow cooker for many hours with a roast or other and other vegetables they become very buttery in taste very soft in taste and they're very very good eating it that way so if you've got Jerusalem artichokes you can still harvest them now even though that you will see some growth tips on them they're still totally edible you may have to cut some of the bad portions off of them but you can still get some harvest now before they start growing and you have to wait until fall to get another harvest for more information, please visit the Wisconsin Vegetable